Hi, this is Pam, the messenger of love. Today I want to share with you a message about how you may awaken your energy and find the balance between the masculine and feminine energy. That is the yin and the yang that is a part of your soul journey on the earth right now. Within everyone there is a spark of love. And there is a way that you express both a feminine and masculine energy. And know that at this time, there is a balance for which you are seeking, for which all souls connected are working to balance the energy upon the earth, connected to Gaia, connected to the cosmos. For many times upon the earth plane, there was a heavy focus on the masculine energy and how this could be brought as a dominant powerful force at times to control and sometimes to create a solid structure and a foundation for how we would live our lives to provide financial support and to provide housing and solid structures for our lives and our daily tasks. In a way, you can refer to this as how you begin to build your balance through your chakras. And when you are in the root chakra, you are seeking that foundation that is sturdy that is stable. You are becoming grounded to the earth in great strength, connecting deep roots into the earth and finding your place in the world, having your basic needs met for housing, for medical care, for finances, food, and all of the things that you need. When you first work on Connecting your chakras in a balance, you are producing that stability first. You are first tuning in to the Earth's energy, the frequency of Gaia, anchoring your physical body as well as your light body into that space. And then as you raise up that light into your root chakra, it starts to spin in a gentle motion, shedding away any fears, helping you to let go of anything that felt unstable in your life. It produces a strong anchor. It helps you to feel that you are connected to the greater good of all on earth. The root chakra builds and grows as you choose that structure in your life of how you can have your needs met. And then as that is balanced and the emotions are cleared in that space, you begin to open your sacral chakra. And this begins to open up more of a feminine energy that is a passion that comes alive. It is a way that you express yourself through a sacred connection that is like the womb of who you are. It is like going back to the time before you were born and you were cocooned in the womb of your mother and you were everything. You were the reason for being. In that energy of your sacral chakra, there is a way that you may enlighten that area, bring in more light, bring in more love, allow your passion to flow through, to activate more of that feminine energy. and allow it to be 
that passionate feeling, yet also a softer feeling that is nurturing to you, as though you are inside your mother's womb, being nurtured every day, supported, guided, feeling the calling for your purpose and your creativity. The more that you express your energy in different ways in your life, the more that you balance that sacral chakra and honor that connection within that sacred womb of life. As you balance the energy in that space, you then begin to open up your solar plexus chakra which is the core of your being, your willpower, your strength, your courage. In your solar plexus, there is a balance of the yin and the yang energy. There is the masculine and the feminine expression of your greater strength. At times you may express this in a way that is more soft-spoken and acknowledge that this too is your power. At other times, you may feel the need to speak up clearly, to fully be in your light, to let the sun shine through, to take chances, to be courageous to stand on your own. And when you do so, that balances the energy between that softer place in the solar plexus, in that light, and the more prominent, stronger, more powerful energy that is ready to come to light. You build this power when you listen to your gut, when you hear that inner calling to take a step forward. When you know without any doubt that what is right in front of you is your pathway, it is for you to embrace. And as we further move up into the chakras, we acknowledge that the masculine and feminine energies are a divine dance which were created to hold the sacred seed of life. And when we balance those energies and allow them to speak together, it is as though we are allowing our own soul to be heard from within and to be heard all across the universe and beyond. As you begin to awaken this energy further, you go into your heart chakra. You flow into that feeling. You begin to feel emotions open up more. This is where you will find a place of healing, where you will feel things that maybe you haven't felt before. At times you will feel sadness and sometimes anger or confusion, or guilt, or even a state of not knowing, but just feeling that something is wrong. This is your soul telling you that your heart wishes to be free, to be open, to laugh, to sing, to love fully. When you have that calling, there may be times in your life when the choices that you're making do not align with this heart space, with this opening, this awakening. And when there is not an alignment of your heart with your soul, you feel life in a harsher energy. It feels more challenging. It feels difficult. It creates more of a feeling of sadness and anger. But what if you could let go and surrender and allow the energy from the divine to flow through you 
to balance that energy, to allow your heart to be fully in the experience of life, to feel more joy, to find joy in everything, and to let go of what no longer aligns with that feeling. As you balance the energy in your heart, as you surrender, you accept that as a divine being, you are both masculine and feminine. Your physical appearance does not reflect who you really are. Your soul knows that there is so much more to understand beyond this life and that you are greater than your physical body. With the masculine and feminine energy, sometimes there is a tug of war between the two, a duality that creates a battle. Because there are times when one wants to be more prominent than the other, one has more to say, more to feel, more to learn. And as you feel this pull towards one or the other, know that is okay. Because that is how you are opening wounds and healing. That is how you are acknowledging your inner child. That is how you are accepting all of your lives and existences into one experience. So allow that shift to happen at times so that you can come back to the balance of life. So you can come back to your heart with much love. Let your heart be healed in the light. Let your soul be free. In the balance of the masculine and feminine energy, your freedom is the key to all divine healing. As you allow that energy to completely flow through to your upper chakras, imagine a light moving into your throat chakra and finding the tone of your voice, the strength of your words, the ability to speak freely and softly yet powerfully in full confidence and courage. When you have a balance of the masculine and feminine energy in your throat chakra, then you will know when to speak and when to listen, when to move forward and when to pause, when to speak louder and when to speak softer, and when to notice the tiny whispers of life and use that as your inspiration to move forward into your creative expressions. Your voice is your full power. It is your soul coming to your physical body and melding together and coming to life fully in this world. Yes, you are telepathic and you have that ability and you may communicate in other ways intuitively and through your energy. But just as the eyes are the window to the soul, your throat chakra is the voice to your soul. It is the way that you may speak and others may hear. For at times, they may need to listen. They may need to learn. And it helps you to move your energy, to clear that space and be in balance once again. As we move the energy into the third eye chakra and look at the balance within that space, we see that there is a much deeper 
dive into the masculine and feminine energy. As we are looking into the cosmos and we're looking out to the other side and seeing how it connects back to the physical plane within a loop of infinity. And so we were seeing a mirror of ourselves within the spiritual realms in the higher dimensions, yet also who we are in the physical plane. And then we must ask ourselves, are we this person, this body in the physical world, or are we much greater? Are we great oracles? Are we great lights? Are we great healers? We are so much more than what we see in our physical world. In this journey into the cosmos, into the space of the yin and the yang, moving through that infinity symbol, that figure eight, you feel a pulsing, a movement, and an understanding that as you move through that energy, you are in sync with all of life. You are connected to all souls, and you are connected to your own purpose, and you see the clarity in every action, in every reaction, in every thought, in every choice. Without any judgment, without any blame, just simply acceptance and trusting and knowing that it is an experience. It is always an opportunity to learn and grow. And now as we move the light into our crown chakra and beyond up into our higher chakras into the star systems, we see that as we get up higher and higher and higher, there is no longer a need to define the masculine and feminine energy anymore. For is all, it is all interwoven together. It is all connected as one. There is no separation. There is no separate identity. There is simply the feeling of love. When you feel love in your life, and you see the greater purpose, and you feel that there is something calling you to that love, that it is sacred and divine, that it has landed upon your life for a reason. Know that as your higher self connecting and showing you that love does not have any barriers or restrictions or requirements. Love is. Love is everything. Love is everyone connected without any of those identities, without any judgments, without any fear. Just embracing each other. Just being wrapped in, a, in an eternal hug of love. And being courageous in that love and expressing it fully even if there is a chance that you might experience loss in your life a moment of grief a moment of sadness just knowing that that brief experience of love is enough to heal your soul for all of eternity.
I want to thank you for joining me on this journey of the masculine and feminine energies. And I wish you much love and peace in your life.